everybody, Nero and the Alucard back again for yet another YouTube video, and today we are going to be discussing a little game called Vector Man. And, well, how I would remake it. So, Vector Man had two games on the Sega Genesis in 1995 and 1996, and from what I've heard, they sold decently and were pretty well received, but it became yet another intellectual property that Sega feels the need to neglect. Like, come on, it's right there. You have the, you already have the hugest nostalgia boner of any company ever. Why not remake it? So, anyway. Vector Man was different from other games at the time. It was like a little bit of Mega Man mixed with Metroidvania style levels, which in theory is actually really cool. But, excuse me, in execution, it was mm, a little bit shaky. Not perfect, you know, not terrible or anything. It's not like the level design was really bad. It flawed somewhat. Well, firstly, it didn't have a map function, which is kind of essential if you're doing, like, open level design in video games. You know, depending on how open you make it. But the level design encouraged exploration, and unless you memorized, like, the level layout, then you weren't going to know where anything was. And in 2, the level design is a bit more linear. It does a better job of sort of telling you, of sort of hinting you, hey, go this way if you want to progress the level, but you can go here, here, and here if you want to, you know, explore for potential power-ups. So, and from apparently there was a third game in the works that was going to be a first-person shooter a la the Metroid Prime route when Metroid became 3D, and it was cancelled, which sucks, but, eh, what can you do? Anyway, here's how I would make a potential remake of Vector Man. So, from a plot standpoint, we're basically just going to reboot the plot of the first game, which was basically destroy Warhead, the evil Orbot, not Robot, Orbot, who has a nuclear missile attached to him, which caused him to become evil. Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. That happened. Anyway, with that out of the way, there wasn't really much story focus in the first game, or the second game, really. It was all about the gameplay. So with that, we have, what do we do with Vector Man's abilities? I'm thinking, and I thought like this, like, you could shove like themes to get like worlds from the first the levels from the first game thematically together like the first boss could be metalhead and add more to the fight and make it less you know obnoxious at times and yeah that's really all you really need to do from a design standpoint and what to do with the levels themselves we make vector man full-on metroidvania we have three main worlds the first world of the game the terraport the second world the obligatory water slash ice world and last but not least, we have the final levels of the game, Warhead's base, in which you confront Warhead, destroy him, get the real ending, blah 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 blah. The, all of the morph modes, this was actually a really cool feature in the original game, by collecting certain power-ups, it allowed Vector Man to turn into different things, like a bomb, um, a bomb, a drill, a turret, so on and so forth. So from there, we say, okay, we know Vector Man looks awesome when he has the morph modes, why not make them full-on power-ups, like upgrades in a Metroidvania game? The same thing with the different weapons, you can have them as findable uh, and findable permanent upgrades, and then have something to upgrade them. You had the bolo shot, the spread shot, the machine gun, so on and so forth. It might ruin the balance of them, but because in the original games it only lasted for a few seconds. So what I would do is have enemies designed around different we usage of different weapons. For example, flying enemies. Hey, if I'm having trouble hitting them with the machine gun, I might be able to bring them down with the spread shot because I have more of a chance of hitting them. Or with the machine gun, hey, this one enemy is really obnoxious from far away. From far away. But I can hit him better from far away. Why not use the machine gun? And yeah, really, that's all I could be, really could think of for Vector Man in terms of redesigning the game from the ground up. Make it a full-on Metroidvania and kind of really design the game around you taking advantage of Vector Man's abilities along with the standard, you know, Metroidvania upgrades, you know, health upgrade, 
double, triple jump, dash jump, flow jump, whatever, so on and so forth. But, do you, dis do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Do you think that the game could be refined even more from the original? Leave it in the comments below. With all of that being said, I am Neroami Alucard. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you want more. Now I must go. My planet does need me.